Right, this is probably about video four. I've done a bit of wrecking around at the top of the Capri Hill Fort on May the 4th, 2016. I'm now going down a track which I reckon could easily turn into a stream when it's really wet. It's a deep sort of gorge coming down. Horses, it's a bridle path. Up there, of course, is the Cadbury Fort area. And this would have all been part of the defence you see having a big ditch like this. I mean, it could have been man-made even, who knows? They look a bit man put down by man, don't they? So this is all part of the exploring. I've never been down here in my life. Fortunately, it's not too muddy. But this will lead me down into the village of Yatton, because I've been up the top. I had a good viewpoint from up there. And uh, like all roads lead to Rome, all roads lead to Yatton. Looking out for features en route, there's a big slab in there. This is, um, they give you a basic signpost and then um, you see that you can go that way or you can branch off something tells me to come around this way see there's a great big stone there look yeah there's steps yeah this is the path I saw earlier where there's steps going up to Cadbury Fort look I didn't come down them though yeah, I was up the top earlier. We're, we're going on this path. I think that's like a side path. There will be lots of side paths. This looks like the main one now. Looking out for features all the time. There's lots of bird boxes around, I've noticed. Some sort of shelter there. I mean, they might have people out here trying to rebuild Anglo-Saxon huts and Iron Age huts. If we go up to this one, we just as well while we're here. Somebody's built this. You see, this is the sort of thing that we'd all have to be able to build again if, we, if um, civilization ended as we know it. We were doing things like this, I remember, when I was a child. Yeah, look. Inside. Shelter. You can imagine me being a Stone Age woman, can't you? Having to live in somewhere like this. Well, someone did it in my genes, didn't they? I have had ancestors who had to do that. Because when you know your way round, locals will know to wiggle in and out like I do on my um, home territory. But keep to the main track in the beginning. Get your Know your boundaries. It's easier to follow your way back if you keep to the main track. Well, in theory. There's a little bird box on the tree there, see? Loads of them I've seen. It's a very twittery wood. I can't think of a better way of having a good time on a sunny day rather than burning a skin on the beach. This is my idea of fun. Out with the trees and the bushes and the flowers and the birds and the butterflies. Breathing in all that lovely oxygen. I mean, I always feel really fit once I get out of that flat. Basically, within minutes of coming, getting out of the... Well, not minutes. As soon as I get out of Western, actually. Whether we'll meet any cows, who knows? They could be further down, see? They said it was sort of pasture and wood. 
Well, I'm recording it for posterity. Might not be very good, the recording. I've got no idea, and I don't know where I'm going. All I know is from the hill, Yatton was this way, and I can imagine this is a circular walk. Obviously, I've come out of the wood now. If I'd gone on one of those side paths, I could have continued to weave in and out in the wood. But there could be more wood anyway in a minute. Oh, here's an interesting feature. This is a water gathering place. I've seen them on um, Flat Home, I think it was. And there's one on the Mendips. Here, look. If you want to collect water, scoop out a hole, right? And form like a funnel. See? Like that. Form like a funnel. The water runs down and collects. And you could make your own. You've had some foil, for example. Um, you could make yourself like a little funnel. And you have to drink. If you have to drink rainwater, you have to drink it, don't you? I mean... I'm going to turn off the camera in a minute and take a picture of that, by the way. But uh, Cadbury Hill Stock Pond. This pond restored by the YACWAG volunteers during 2000-2009 you used to provide drinking water for animals grazing on the hill. The ponds date from 1800 to 1820 and was completely buried by undergrowth when work began. It is not spring fed and the water comes purely from rainfall and surface runoff. Restored using lime waters, the work has been reinstated an historical f agricultural feature and created a new wildlife habitat. Yeah, Yatton Parish Council. So it is, it is collecting water. It is a pan. See, there's another way you could probably come through up there. There's another feature that ways to get in up onto the hill. Everywhere will lead up onto Cadbury Hill from here, see? I'm going to try. I just want to see what's on this sign. There's another big house. There's lots of big houses out here, I've noticed. Massive big place in there. Big mansion. Cadbury Hill Local Nature Reserve. It might tell us the name of that. Oh, yeah. I wanted to know what that's called. It's um, Bethany. Common spotted orchids. Cowslips, of course. Ah, I wonder what that was, that one. Bethany. Our favourite friend, the fox. Right, just turn off for now. I'm going to be going, following that path there in a minute. Although, like I said, there's lots of places to explore which I can do another day. Another day I could come to Yatton. I mean, once I get to Yatton, I can walk on the strawberry line. It's boundless where we can go and enjoy. It's boundless. Over and out.